Hey guys, Matt here from Matt Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you this awesome, awesome intro with a cool TV effect. Alright, check it out. Alright, now I know what you're all thinking. Matt, Brown Productions already did this. You don't need to show us how to do this. But, you're right, and you're wrong. If you read the title of the video, you can tell that this is done in Platinum, not Pro. Bro Productions did it in Pro. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in Platinum. Vegas Platinum. <laughs> I had to cut it there because I did not have any tracks open. So, anyway. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to insert. Text media. Type whatever you're going to want to type here. Matt Productions. And I use the birth of a hero font normally sometimes I go for defused which is pretty awesome but uh, birth of a hero works good on this this intro so drag that over and now click the second video tab go to media generators right right here you like that don't you Alright, and you're going to want to go to solid color. Click white, drag down. Make sure it's make sure it's under your text. That's good for now. Back to video effects. Uh scroll down to see TV simulator right there. TV look, drag down to the white screen here drag it here and now you're just going to want to enter some number that's about half halfway for detailed zoom aperture grill would be 0 0.08 interlacing 0 0.80 or just 0 0.8, guess you could have just done that. Line sync and vertical sync should already be set to 1, that's good. Scan phasing, bump that up to 2, or 0 0.2, sorry. Uh, phosphorescence, that's it, phosphorescence goes to 1, and static 0 0.085. So, that is good. And uh, right now, what you should have is this text is white that's okay we'll change that right now change it right now all right properties set it to black uh effects and then click draw shadow makes pretty cool effect on the words gives it a nice shadow in the background just click to see what we're doing here Okay, feather all the way, and we will come back to this later. Looks feathered, looks nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the TV look to Matt Productions, and we will keep detailed zoom at zero, aperture grill all the way up to one, interlacing all the way up to one, Line sync, vertical sync, they're good, they're already at one. Scan phasing, all the way up to one. Oh, I am so sorry. Aperture grill goes down to zero. Aperture grill goes down to zero. I am smart. And phosphorescence also goes up to one. Static stays at zero. And we're good. So what we have now is this. You cannot see anything that happened to Matt Productions because we need to make that lighter. Go back to properties and make it just a slightly lighter gray. Maybe a little lighter than that. That's good. Um, effects. Uh, draw shadow we already have checked so we will click this box right here. Open it up and make this a slightly lighter gray. It looks good. Maybe a little 
a little brighter here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So, now, for the feathered, nice, TV-style looking border, we will go to Cookie Cutter. Cookie Cutter. It's right here in between Deform and Convolution Kernel. What is Convolution? Oh, that's it. Cookie Cutter. Now you're going to want to scroll down until you see Picture in Picture. No, we'll not, we will not be putting in another video. We will just be putting in a, pi a picture in picture. So, well, we won't be putting in a picture in picture. We'll just be putting in this box. We need this box. It's a cool box. We need that box. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this scrolly thing right here, right here, and you're going to want to put it in the center. It doesn't matter if it's exact. We can change it later. Um, feathering all the way up. Size you're gonna wanna you know wanna bring up to uh I don't know about here I guess is good it's not the center move it up till it's in the center so that's good border make the border bigger oh wow size bigger see when we make the border bigger the feathering gets much much better um. So you're just going to want to play with the bordering and feathering, or bordering and sizing, sorry, until you get this nice effect out here. And you are basically done. This is your finished product. Now what I had a problem with when Bra Productions did this was they put their scan phasing all the way up on the Matte Productions, or in their case, Bra Productions. And I don't know, that looked a little too fast. So I put it I I made it go down to about halfway. I think it looks a little better. I don't know, tell me what you think. I like it. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. Tell me in the comments. So anyway, this has been Matt for Matt Productions. Keep watching, I will be posting videos, more videos soon. Uh thanks, comment, rate or not rates, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Good night.